Oh my God. What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support. I hope you guys are grinding every single day, striving to be the best that you could be at everything in life, guys. Killing it every single day. I hope you guys are doing that. If you are, be sure to comment below. I read some comments on the last video and I, you guys want me to go in depth on you know what baits I'm throwing, how I'm catching them, why I'm catching them. Therefore, I'm gonna do that this video. But welcome to another episode of Fishing for Giants. Fishing for Giants episode three, guys, where we go out to attempt to catch some giant bass and we're gonna try our best. If you guys notice, I'm out on Lake Mirror today. I absolutely hate this lake. As you guys know, it just it holds a big grudge against me. I've had one absolutely amazing day out here and that's about it. Um, I've, I've skunked it up a lot of times on this on this place right here, but we're gonna go out here. We're gonna try our best, try to catch a lot of giants because I know there's some giants here, guys. That's why this is a Fishing for Giants episode. Whether if I catch them or whoever else catches them, I mean, we should have some giants today, you know, four plus. I mean, we should. So we're gonna go ahead and get that video started, guys. Beautiful day out here. As you can tell, bluebird skies, pretty much no zero to the no wind. It's probably gonna be tough. I wish there was a little bit of wind, a little bit of clouds. Pick up that old spinner bait and throw it out there. But we're gonna go about the rattle trap, fish head spinner bait, and also a little worm. And we're gonna see if we can put some fish on the bank. Let's go ahead and get this video started. <laughs> down there. You already got one? Oh my god, dude. What is that? Yeah, it is. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I want to see. Okay. There you go. Dude, that's a long fish, man. So that's a long fish. That's a good one, man. There you go. <laughs> good job. That's a good three and a, three and a half. Yeah. Here, you want me to take it on mine? That's a good fish. If you just had a little more thickness on them. Now it looks good. Crouch down right here. Here, I'll get it on my GoPro. Get the release. There you go. Good job. Yeah. Thank you. How big is he? Where are you bringing him? Is he huge? Oh my God, dude. Look at his lips. We saw you struggle. I thought he got in this tree off the back last rock. It's a good fish. That's crazy. He's way out there. Yeah. He looks like he's about eight pounds right there, didn't yeah, he? I was scared, like, he scared me right there. That was awesome. You want me to take one? Yeah. Oh my god, dude! He just like tapped the butt of my worm. There's no way it was a bass. He bit it like a brim. What's going on, man? You catching any? Oh, I got you, man. Noah, nice to meet you. Yeah, I go to the landings all the time. Do you? Man, that's where we There's take. so many big fish, man. Yeah, it's crazy. I love going out there. 
me and uh, our coach went out last week, but it's a lot of small ones, but yeah, it's fun, dude. No, nah, out it's there, quick. these just big. That was last weekend, just off those lipless. Really? Was, yeah, they were slamming it back to back. I caught two threes and then that four. My buddy Hold caught up. the two twos and then. I think that's the one I was at. Is that yeah. the one? I'm trying to think. Really? Yeah. I was just crazy, off Cinco's. Man. Dude, let's go fishing one day. Absolutely. Dude. You want to? I'd love to, man. That'd be let's, awesome. Seriously. Man, let's... What's up, man? Do you really? Yeah. Oh, thank you, man. Noah. Nice to meet you. I'm nice to meet you, man. We're going to have some fun. Yes, sir. Hopefully catch a big one. Mm -hmm. I caught uh, a four and a half pounder right here. Yesterday. Really? That's awesome. Sunday, I think. What'd you catch it on? Uh, little wild trout. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, Isaac caught a good one, and he caught a good one right, literally right when we got out here. So hopefully they'll, I know there's a lot more out there. Yeah. So, well, good luck, man. Thanks. Noah. Hey, man, Brian. Nice to meet good you. Good to meet you. You guys ready to catch some fish? Yeah. <laughs> How's it going, buddy? Yeah. Noah. Luke. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh my God, got him in the back. Hey, God guys, I hooked him in the back. So he just took off. I didn't know what I had. That was insane. I actually saw him flick the water. All right guys, beautiful fish. Nothing big, but still pretty thick. What? Like the size yeah, he does. It's pretty fish. So here I hooked him in the back. Yeah, right there. I don't know how that would happen. I hooked something. I got a little trigger happy. Come on. I had to break this one off too. I swear, like the past three trips, I lost a rattle trip. Four trips, matter of fact. Jeez. No. Little traps of Bass Pro. Oh my God! Jeez, dude. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> Jeez, man. That's awesome. <laughs> what is he doing? There you go. All right, guys, I want to make a quick little segment on pretty much what baits I was throwing today because you guys kept asking for it in the last video. You know, what kind of bait are you, baits are you throwing? Why are you throwing those? So I'm going to go over that just real quick, and then we're going to sign off this video. Moving on to the first bait that I'm going to talk about is just a simple old shaky head. This is on, the only slow-moving bait that I actually have with me. Therefore, I always recommend having something, whether it's a Texas rig, a jig, a shaky head, Something with a slow, a slow moving bait, just if those fish are super finicky, because I promise you, you can always catch a fish on a worm. I, like, I promise you, they'll always bite a worm, especially if the conditions are tough. Moving on to the next one, which was my rattle trap. For some reason, the last four practices, I broke off a rattle trap, so I don't have it on that rod, but that bait is very versatile. You know, you can work it at the top of the water, you can let it sink, you can yo-yo it, you can do a little bit of everything with it. With these fish eating all this bait, it is a perfect shad imitation for those fish just to crush and we have caught a lot of fish on that bait recently. Moving on to the spinner bait, which is gonna be really good in wind and if there's cloudy conditions, as you guys can tell today is bluebird skies, not any wind, but then again, Allen caught two on a spinner bait. So that just shows you that they're still gonna bite that, even though if those conditions aren't, I mean, it's just a reaction bite for the most part. Um, and that's why I caught those two actually in the same spot. My last bait, as you guys know, my favorite bait of all time, which is the fish head spin. This bad boy will sit there and catch them, guys, 100%. You will whack those fish on a fish head spin. If you haven't tried one out, be sure to go check them out. I need to make a new video on how to throw it because a lot of people end up getting the bait and they can't catch any fish on it, and their alley's asking me, no, why can't I catch fish? This fish don't catch bait. And it's all on how you work it. It's all on the techniques. It's all how you wiggle the worm, guys. You guys already know. And I'm going to have to make a new video on that because that bait is so, I'm telling you, it's such a powerful bait. 
and I really need to make another video on that to show you guys really how, I mean, like it's my favorite bait. <laughs> like I, I can't, the bite is like undescribable. I've hooked so many people onto the bait. I've caught hundreds and uh, honestly thousands of fish on that bait. I remember one day on the water, best day ever, um, I caught 84 fish and it was all on a fish head spin. The bait just, it, it just catches fish guys. It's perfect shad imitation. I'll have to go more in depth on it, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys grinding every single day, striving to be the best that you can be every single day, working hard, doing your thing. But thank you guys so much for the support. Be sure to smash that like button. Be sure to comment below what you guys want to see next and be sure to hit that subscribe button and punch that little bell. Thank you guys so much for the support. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Please like this video. Please comment below your goals for 2018. I want every single one of you to comment at least one goal and I want you guys to go execute and achieve that goal. Don't be normal. We're going to change the world, guys. Thank you guys so much for the support. I'll catch you guys in the next video.